Hi, this is Alexis from the Kiteboarder Magazine. I'm here in Hood River, AWSI, with Ben, Ion, and there's no wind, so we're going to talk about harnesses. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for coming. Um, it's a very cold, brisk January day. It is freezing. There's snow on the mountains. There are. It snowed like two days ago. Gosh. Like, did you go snow kiting today? I did. You know, it's one of my new favorite sports. Yeah, the yeah. water is just so overrated. And it is. It is. It is. 2021, you know. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're going to talk about the 2022 ION harness lineup. And what we're going to start here is with the women's harnesses. I have both shapes here. We have the sole, which is going to be the small back sort of curve material, so it's a rigid harness. Um, all of the 2022 harnesses for ION come with our new Spectra bar. Basically, it's going to be a modular bar where you can um, change out the hooks if you choose to, and also add a rope to it in case you like just riding the rope. But yeah, no, they've redesigned it, sort of, sort of fine-tuned where the padding is. Really comfortable harness for women that have a small torso or just don't like that much harness on their back. The next one here, which is the Nova. The Nova's gonna be our higher back, our more supportive, supportive harness. And the cool thing with this one is our curved material, which is a thermal molded plastic, it is an X spine. So it's not gonna be as stiff as the sole, but still provide plenty of support. And as well, more surface area, more grip, more comfort. And this is gonna be for women that have a longer torso, they just want more on their back while they're kiting. Same goes with it. The spreader bar is gonna be the Spectre bar. Modular, change the hooks out, put a rope on it, do whatever you want when you're riding. Now one thing I noticed is that yeah. each one of these harnesses, like this one has an N, the other one had an S. Uh, what, what do those symbols stand for? So the N and S are going to be for the model, Nova or Soul. But good, good thing pointing out there is the number is this indication of how stiff the harness is. So as you can see with the Soul, it's an 11. And with the Nova, it's a six. So the Nova is a much softer harness, whereas this one is a much stiffer harness. And it all depends on the comfort. I mean, a lot of people like different sensations on the on their back. It's kind of like testing out a pair of shoes. You know, you got to find the one that fits your feet right. So we're gonna drop these off here, and then now we're gonna go into the men's harnesses, which is basically the same sort of uh, dynamic. The Apex is sort of the Nova, but for the guys. This is going to have a bit of curved material, but it's going to be a softer harness as well. As you can see, it's an indicator of eight. So super soft, super comfortable, high back. But again, we've got an EVA foam in here too, so it grips on your wetsuit and doesn't really ride up or rotate. Same exact thing with the uh, spreader bar. It's going to be a spectra bar, which is interchangeable with many components. You have these little winglets on the side. This allows the allows it so when you are wearing the harness, you don't get so much upper tor or torque when the kite's pulling you in the air. Really gives it a good solid feel when you're riding on this harness. And it's not gonna twist up. No, that's the whole point. No twisting up, keeping it more of a just st stiff structure on there. So now, big back, tall torso guys. We're gonna go for the Riot, and the Riot is gonna be for the smaller back. And we've been focusing a lot more of developing the Riot harness. And the reason being is we see a trend of a lot of riders like smaller harnesses. They don't like very big backs. So we've actually spent a, uh, quite a, we've spent a bit of time with a doctor who specializes in backs. Don't know exactly the term of how you call it. I would have no idea what a back doctor's back name. Doctor, yeah. Back doctor. So basically we worked with this guy, or Ion did, and we've created a system that you have an interchangeable sort of pad here, and with the pad, you can either get a super thick pad that has a lot of support or a much thinner one. And it all depends on the shape of your back, the lower back right here. So when you're wearing the harness, you can either put the small one or the big one in here, see what fits the best, and then basically you plug and play and get extreme comfort from it. You guys are getting a little tricky tricky. I know. You know, they're geniuses over there. You gotta make stuff right. But yeah, I mean, small back, supportive back thing. Wear this harness, never take it off. It's very awesome. Comfortable. Now you've got this last one over here. Tell me about this sucker. Yes. This is micro. This is the Rogue. So this is something as well, 
since winging is so new to uh, the wind sports industry, um, Ion came up with a very simple and basic solution to a harness for winging. As you can see, there's almost nothing to this harness. It's basically thermal molded plastic as the back. You have EVA foam as the inside, so it's, it doesn't retain water or get heavy. You have a very simple spreader bar with a plastic hook, and you can move the, the hooks from side to side. So when wingers are riding, they want something super small, minimalistic. They don't want it to feel like it's there. This is kind of the perfect solution to it because it is minimalistic, small, but it has the structure and rigidity to provide a lot of support when you're out there. And also everything's made of plastic so you won't puncture or scrape up your board. But yeah, this is the new one. We're excited about this one. Hope the wingers are too. I, I'm sure they will. I'm, I, I'm stoked to be able to try out one soon. Uh, and so where can they find more info on all this stuff? So they can find all this info on ionproducts.com um, on the interwebs. On the interwebs. You heard it here first. Thank you so much, Ben. Thank you.